So this is the silencer. When you remove it, you can hear the sound. When you put it back. It's much quieter this way. Nothing really fancy. Just a few holes. And a few pipes. Tiny hoses. This is a recycled material, plastic bottle, water bottle, two of them, flip it upside down and glue them together at this point, so that we can use this as a collector for the water that is popping up from the pump. Remember this is an air pump, it uses air from this small air compressor, it's rated for 18 watts. in here introduce in here it goes down where you have no return valve and a T the water goes this way to a 90 degree elbow then pops up here and then Siphon or bell sound siphon 25 mm pipe. You can use a 20 mm. I find it's better to use a 20 mm than a 25 mm. And a cap at the bottom. And if you can see the hole on both sides just fit in the cup. So we notice with this, the siphon starts even with very little amount of flow. Like this. You can see the flow. It's not much. But this gives about 300 liters per hour. So we can extend this grow belt and add two more grow beds to this system and then um, the whole siphon will start about 12 minutes give or take but right now the siphon starts in between 4 minutes 30 seconds to 5 minutes anyway from that range from our timing so, nothing fancy recycled material to allow air go in and break the siphon from the bottom and the stand pipe the stand pipe is 25 mm but below we used the 20 mm to give us that regular flow and absorb oxygen to the water for the fish. So that's it. And um, right here in the water, you can see we have a T. A bunch of holes, the three mm holes, drill round T, with two caps at both end, to allow water go in, so that the fingerling will not go in <coughs> and get sucked out from the back. Where we have our pipe for the pump. So we just introduced the um, nine fingerlings, catfish. You can see them. The bottom, you can see some sand that has been sucked out from the grow bed. Over time, sand and dust will settle down. And this is later, so we're just waiting for the system to establish fully. It takes anywhere between 10 to 12 days for the system to get established. And this is a three quarter inch granite. So it does well. We've used the system for a four and um, um, 
curry and it did exactly well and this is the second time we're planting we just got this yesterday and uh, we'll see how it's going to turn out you can see some of the effects of uh, uh, insects and um, caterpillar all sorts but i'm going to keep this channel updated uh, to see how it, these things are growing every week what changes we have to make and all so you can see the flow But the good thing about this system is that um, the pump that we use, this is uh, air lift pump, uh, we're not going to have any kind of uh, slug building up uh, or debris. You know, this is the first pump we used, and um, it didn't last. Barely two months packed up, we um, noticed a lot of dirt in the impeller and reduce the lifespan of the pump it couldn't make even one feet above the water we needed something to pump at least three to four feet high so you can see the level of oxygen being added to this water for the fish so but with this we're able to do that with a bigger diameter pipe so that uh, no clogging of any sort will clog up this part anything that can go into the 20mm pipe will be pumped right up even with sand, granite, whatever leaves pumped into this T. There is a two inch pipe pumped into this T, and then we'll have a 90 degree over here that just makes it a steady flow, at least close to steady. So, this is just to cover our bell siphon. You can see all recycled material 25 mm pipe water is coming up you should go off any moment from now see the water flow so if you have any questions you can leave it down in the comments I will try and answer you as much as I can for this is a project you want to start with a new kind of pump as against the kind of pump we used before to see how this system will go so i'll keep this channel updated with changes every week you can see it's in an office these are our agricultural materials this is just in an office by the way, we have that pump connected to an inverter, so it keeps running 247. So you need a small battery, it's about 18 watts, but in real life it takes anywhere between 10 to 12 watts to run. Energy efficient, it pulls about 300 liters per hour pump. So. Oh, that's 
the other one. This is your tour. You can see the fishes are really loving this environment. So it's about to go off. You see? Okay. with this little flow mm -hmm. Just to give an idea of the flow, it's about uh, 3 liters per minute. That is the level of this uh, flow because we have to share it for both COVID. It's a very, very little flow, and yet the cycle can start. And it does stop at the right time. So, thank you for watching. Leave your comments below. I will keep this link updated, this channel updated every week.